Hey, Emma. How are you doing? How are you feeling today? I feel sick. I always feel sick. Oh. Oh, no. That's... I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me? How are you feeling sick? What's going on? I feel nauseous and tired, and I can't keep any food down, and... I have such little energy that even when my family does visit, I can't even do anything with them. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, but you do know that I know you're on a really hard round of chemo this time around, but you only have two more treatments left, and that means you can go home really soon. I want to go home now. I just, I want to be out of the hospital. I'm sick of having tubes in me, and I'm sick of not having family around. I understand that, and those are all really valid concerns that you have. So is there anything that we can do that you feel that we can do, maybe like make you, you know, a little more comfortable, anything that would make you more comfortable on our part that would help you? I just, I think I want to stop. Stop treatment? Yeah. Okay, tell me more about that. Why do you feel that way? It's just, I've been through so many rounds of chemo and radiation and the tumors haven't shrunk and nothing is working and I just feel like I'm getting sicker, and what's the point of being here when I could be at home? I mean, I've missed my youngest's first steps and his first words because I've been stuck in the hospital when I should be spending valuable time with them. And that's totally understandable. Your feelings are all valid. So how about this? I'm gonna go talk to your doctors and the rest of the healthcare team. We're gonna try to come up with a better solution, something that will really help you, something that will make you possibly feel better. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Hey, doctors. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Yeah. That was fine to you guys. I actually wanted to talk to you about our patient, Emma. So it seems like she's really unhappy with the treatment that she's getting and the results. Because, you know, she's not seeing any results. Yeah. So it seems like she's really at the end of the rope with that. And she might even be considering stopping treatment. Whoa. Okay, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so I've been assigned as her nurse for a while now, so I've really gotten to know her and her family. So from that, it seems like from the excessive treatments and the prolonged pain and everything, she seems like she's not getting to spend enough quality time with her family, and it's really draining her of all her energy. She's really just, you know, it's taking a toll on her physical and mental strain. And so I think she's just not having it. And so I wanted to see if we could explore any other options that we have for treatment. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's fair. Let's look at her chart a little bit. So you see right there, that's yeah. the chemo treatment that she received. Yeah. Okay. okay, so she hasn't been responding well. Mm -hmm. You can see on the lab results. Um, she has only two more rounds of chemo, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it would be worth it to complete the chemo. What do you think being the cancer specialist? I mean, I think at this point, since she's not responding to the chemo, it's really up to her whether or not she wants to finish her treatment. Yeah. There is actually a clinical trial that's out right now, but that can take months, and there's no guarantees that it'll actually work. Okay. So it's really up to her, and that would only further extend her time away from her family. Yeah. So. Okay, so since we're seeing these lab results and what you're saying is very valid, I think let's just, if we extended the treatments, it's only going to cause more anguish for her and her family. I think we should do what she wishes. I mean, personally, we'll offer the I think we should offer. And the options for the two more treatments. Right. And you let her know, yeah, if she has any questions, I'll come in right after and we can talk to her even together if needed. Um, but yeah, obviously, her best interest is what we want. Yeah. So. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. I think I'll go talk to her about that and then I'll let you know. Thank you guys. Yeah, yeah of course. Of course.